welcome to another wonderful episode of a Wacky Law, Wacky Law Podcast. Oh, goodness. Laws that make no sense. My name is... I'm Kathy Hagan. Hi, my name is Anthony Hagan. So, this is where each fact, fact is stranger than the one before. What do, you, what do you mean that? I mean, I noticed that uh, last podcast, you're talking Wisconsin, you know, Georgia, uh, Minnesota. Minnesota, something like that. But, uh, you know, you, you realize that these uh, laws are kind of not stupid, but crazy, I guess, because uh, I guess that somebody must be... Uh, did the law not supposed to? Then de- decide to put it in a law book. Yeah. Okay. I believe that some of them probably were, uh, were in the, probably the early 1900s or the late 1800s, where somebody pissed a neighbor off and they put them in the law book, and or they just were. <laughs> like, 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 for example, like uh, you see that at uh, the label in the back of a, like uh, uh, appliance, whatever, or something like that. That they say that do not lick the hot iron, something like that. Or oh, have a disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, oh, by the way, by the way, this is a disclaimer. Oh, just for entertainment and fun. I forgot, I forgot that, that before that. I want to do that before that disclaimer, but I don't know. Forgot. This is a disclaimer. This is all for entertainment. Okay, so let's get started. All right, let's do this. Okay, so starting with West Virginia. It is against the law to sneeze on a train. Why? They can explain why do they sneeze? Doesn't say why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of, I don't know. I mean, almost bad as that, like, uh, last uh, podcast that people, you have a, uh, I guess, I think it's guess lots of blowing nose thing, I guess, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to have uh, a section for that, a section for blow, a restaurant for blowing your nose. Yeah. And it's still, and uh, you kind of re- research that, that you still, that blowing nose affected the whole state. Yeah. Not, you know, not still to stay. Oh, my God, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should try next time. Go to a restaurant. You have a, you have a uh, session for blowing nose. <laughs> yeah, when you get seated. You get seated. <laughs> Where's the non-smoking, non-blowing nose section? <laughs> it's got to Okay. All right. Here's well, for Amblin. Okay, what is that for now? For all 50, oh, no, for uh for Port Huron, Michigan. Okay. The speed limit for ambulances, 20 miles an hour, whether the lights are on or off. Kind of makes no sense if somebody uh, as in a patient is having heart issues and needs to get to the uh, hospital. Yeah, I mean, 20 miles an hour. Uh, does it for all? I would hate to have an emergency. Well, was it a, that, that's that for is all state or just certain ones? Just her, her on Michigan. <laughs> oh, Port Horan. It's H U R O N, Michigan. Port Horan. I'm saying that city, that city wrong, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, but really? 20 months? Really? Hey. Wow. Here's, okay. here's in New Orleans. Louisiana. Okay, what is it? All fire trucks are required to stop at red lights. I mean, you you in the emergency? Apparently so. Wow, you you can't go through the emergency? That's kind of... So my house is on fire in New Orleans. I guess the fire trucks are going to be a little late because... They have to stop at all the red lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of, it's, yeah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of, kind of. Kind of questionable. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like those ones. Yeah, but you, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. They're kind of like uh, depressing. <laughs> if you ask me, they're kind of depressing. Yeah, but like you have to stop. I mean, you have, I guess you have to stop every stop lights or stop sign, even the emergency. I mean, no, 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 that's right because I know that. 
I don't know, like, uh, in here, I see. You know, you think just, just stop and then go. Yeah. It's, I don't need to have the weight, but. Yeah, because I see, I see here, like, here in, in this area, that, like, in the British vehicle, they don't go through, they just kind of stop, you know, it's slow stop and then go. Huh. Crazy laws. Okay. Crazy law. This is under the eyes of the, behold, of the beholder. What's that? And so, like, um, I don't even know how to explain it, but if it's under, like, say, um, say you're dating somebody and it's under, like, if you like them or not, like, if you have eyes for them. Okay, okay. So, if you want to use curlers in your hair in Oklahoma, you better have a curl license. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh what? I'm kind of a dumb fault. <laughs> Really? I you know one of those things like the Wisconsin if you have to cut your hair. Yeah, but that but but, but Wisconsin that the lot probably What the hell's a curl license? The cur, cur, uh, curling iron? No curl license. Curl license. Who's curlers in your hair. Oh, oh, oh can, yeah, one of those uh, one of those like uh you like your mom had my parents has my after my mom has your mom has one of the curling thing with a plastic thing. Yeah. One, one of the, one of those things, yeah. And you, like, you, you have to have a curl license. To walk, you, you, in Publix? Walk around in Publix? If you want to use curlers in your hair in Oklahoma, you better have a curler's license. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guess your mom and... Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, well, here's another one. Wait, what is it? In Michigan, a woman's hair belonged to her, her, her husband. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's a like I wonder if he could put it on like his his uh put it on his uh put it on his uh like property I, thing property I, like I own I own I own this in property land and Probably like you saying that you own the you own the it, what it was a uh, Minnesota or Michigan Michigan a woman's hair belongs to her husband. Okay, so Michigan and Wisconsin are like touching. Yeah. Oh, so, let's just say in Wisconsin you can't cut a woman's hair; it's against the law. Okay, so take the woman's hair from Wisconsin and shove all the hair to the men. That live in Michigan. Oh, I, I think they're using that as like you cannot uh, basically saying that you know that man. I guess the woman has to ask husband. Her husband husband to cut, cut 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 your hair. Cut her hair. hair. Yeah. Hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a different hairstyle. Yeah, probably that's probably that's it then. It kind of is kind of basically saying that uh, I can say I own you. <laughs> you know, he doesn't own her. They don't own the hair. Yeah, yeah. There is an ordinance ordinance in Morrisville, Pennsylvania, that prohibits a woman from wearing cosmetics without a permit. Where? Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Really? What? <laughs> so no makeup for them. Was it a Mormon state? No, it can't be in a Mormon state. No make. Oh, <laughs> I, you know, I, you know, I do like for for for, oh. <laughs> for this podcast, something like that. I would love to travel the uh, travel down the road trip, go down there, talk to uh, Russian of the East at uh, that state, the law down. Talk to the governors? No, no, not the government. Usually those, usually those lot. <laughs> Usually, those law is, um, uh, I guess, a like county law or a city law. This is a city. This is in Mormon, Morrisville, Pennsylvania. So this is a, a city. Yeah, but probably city law. Like you know, yeah. you, you see, has its own law. You know, like yeah. that. Probably that's it. You know, I like I like to just go down there. You know, one of these one of these uh, states or cities, just talk to people. You know, and have it like have podcasts of like to talk to people. That'd be fun to listen to, or talk to. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess uh, you go there. That's uh, what what the city is. 
Mooresville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Mooresville, Pennsylvania. You put makeup on, you probably gonna arrest it. Probably. Well, it's a citizen arrest. Huh? Could be a citizen, citizen arrest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, what? For only for really, really high IQs. I don't say it. Okay, go ahead. It is against the law for children under the age of seven to go to college in Winstead, Salem, North Carolina. Oh, oh, they're under seven? Under seven. They, they got to wait till they're seven. <laughs> Who the heck has, has I mean, I mean. <sighs> I mean, the age of seven going to college. Yeah, I mean, some. I, I, I wonder if they get federal assistance at the age of seven. No, because I they get <laughs> do they get grants. Probably, but I seen I seen a while back. I seen some kids at ten years old going to college because they're so smart. Um, seven. Uh, that's I I don't know. I don't even know if I would want my kid at the age of seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, go to college. Well, going to college. Yeah. And then they they will lose that, you know, all the fun, you know, the growing up. Yeah. But, grow up too fast. Yeah, but sometimes also those parents like, you know, using their kid at, kid as a, a pro, uh, prop, saying that, hey, look at me. You know? <laughs> but yeah. But but like like I said, some laws like kinda dumb, you know. Um Well the ones that we've gotten so far, they are kinda of dumb. Well what what, what, yeah, funny. what what is the next one? What is the next one I say? Okay. Kids in Calisto, Montana must have a note from the doctor in order to buy a lollipop or candy bar while church services are in session. <laughs> Okay. I, I, I no, I, I no, I, I, I get. Well, that reminds me of a story with you and Alex, and for and the first time. Oh, yeah. Alex and church. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. He was so, he was so, what was it? He was so fancy. I had to give him a lollipop. Well, see, at the end of church services, we were all sticky. Yeah, I get, I get lollipop him to church, <laughs> but um, I mean, I, I, I get this. Is, I guess, I guess, same, almost same as that. Some, some counties, I guess, you cannot you cannot buy liquor or beer in Sundays. Probably that same, uh, same law against something like that. But who? I, I'm looking this way. Who wrote those law? That's what I'm saying. Who? Who got so pissed off, mad up? Mad, mad at at the church, their kids, you know, buying candy at uh, Sunday. Somebody have to wrote this law. Some parents, you know, has to. Hey, this not enough. You know, we have to go to the governor talk about this this law. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, somebody have to. It's, that's kind of dumb thing. Here is a field about horses. Okay, horses again. Yeah? Horses. Okay, what is it? In Waco, Texas, it's illegal to toss a banana peel on the streets because a horse could step on the peel and slip. It makes sense. Makes sense. But <laughs> I guess who's going to throw the banana peel? I mean, uh, Garrett, he throws banana peels outside on the, or in the back. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Okay, if you're a motorist passing through Pennsylvania and flight and sight a team of horses coming towards you. You must pull well off the road, cover your car with a blanket and canvas that blends in with the countryside and let the horses pass. If one of the horses is skittish, you must take your car apart piece by piece and hide it under the nearest <laughs> I, mean, I get, I, I get that you move over, you know. I kind of move over that side of the road and let the ho um, let the, ho the buggy pass, <laughs> whatever. But you have to take it apart. Oh, my thing is like, yeah, you move over, you know, um, move over buggy pass. I get that, but you have to cover your blanket. If the horse is skittish, you must take your car apart piece by piece and hide it under the nearest bush. That's. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Ooh, here's another one. Okay. If you're riding through Charleston, South Carolina, your horse better be wearing diapers. <laughs> oh yeah, make, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I seen, I seen those, I seen those. Uh, they put that the little cup, cup thing, whatever. They'll 
to the horse poop. I, I seen it all. So yeah. Meesville, <laughs> West Virginia. In Meesville, West Virginia, horses command the greatest respect. There's a there's a law mandating that anyone meeting a horse and buggy on the road must bow from the waist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you basically bow to the bow to the horse. Yeah, bow. Mm-hmm. That's kind of stupid. Okay, it is kind of stupid. These are wacky laws and stupid laws. The, you gotta, yeah. you gotta but, but, yeah, but, stupid yeah, but think, and, think about it. There's a wacky law. There's a wacky law. St- strange statutes. There's a wacky, a wacky law, right? But then, yeah, then the, the person breaking uh, uh, break the law, the criminals, the crazy criminals, they're breaking the law, right? We would have, I mean, I'm sorry to say this and to go off the subject, but... We already have really maxed out our prison system in the states. Can you imagine if we did every law from the book? Exactly. <laughs> With all these stupid, wacky, and strange laws and statutes, if we started doing citizens' arrest, how many more people would be in jail? And yeah. The judges would be like, okay, what are they here for? They would be like, really? They're here for what? And why? But, but, okay. the, the, but, the, but, judge have to, they cannot, they cannot dismiss it because this is in a book. You know, they have to, yeah, this is a law. They broke the law. They have to pay the fine or they have to go to jail for uh, how many days, you know? Anybody ever think of where fine money goes? Like, okay, so you're fine so much money. Where does that fine? It's almost like ticket, a tour. Yeah, but where does the ticket money go? Tor- does it tor- go to the state? Uh, does it go uh, to the government? De- depends. Depends. I guess depends on what wh- who put the law on it. You know, the, the okay, so st- say so. Say I do uh, um, a citizen's arrest for. Um, the horse not wearing it, the diaper, okay, in South uh, Charleston, South Carolina, okay, and he goes before a judge, and the judge finds him instead of you know making him do probation or uh, community service or that kind of thing, finds him. Okay, where does the money from the fine go? It probably goes to the city, They're like a ticket, yeah. like a ticket, you know, goes to the city. You know, it doesn't go to the state and like it goes to the city. Or Boyer cities would have so much money to feed the homeless and shelters and yeah, be so rich. Yeah, go to the city. But most judges are not going to, you know, get a misdemeanor on it, you know, pay a $50 fine. I'm like that. Yeah. Uh, until I think there's all the, I think there's all those laws like misdemeanor laws. I, I mean I'm just get, I'm just you know guessing, but you know. You know okay, here's a good one. What, what is the one? A horse is not allowed to eat a fire hydrant in Marshalltown, Iowa. Why <laughs> eat, eat, eat the fire hydrant? That's dumbest thing I heard of. I mean, what? That's kind of funny. Yeah. That's like somebody smoking some crack or something. You know, something. Okay, we don't smoke crack in this city. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Smoking doobies. You know, you know I mean, I get, probably, probably something like this happened. I'm, I'm thinking. Probably the horse trying to biting the fire hydrant. Some, something, something similar to that one. You know? But like this, a lot of these laws, like, not, I mean, not, not dumb, but just weird laws. This it is. Vermont does not allow for painted ponies. If you found painted, painting yours, you will be arrested. Oh, because uh, uh, animal cruelty. Well, that's it. You know, a painted horse is one with spots. That's what a painted horse is. No, I don't think that. Yes, that's what a painted pony is. But what? No, no. So say a white horse has brown spots. That's what a painted. No, I thought it sounded like that. That sound like they're not allowed to paint the horse. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Who did? Yeah. But. Is that the pain the horse? Okay. Those aren't really funny. No, those aren't funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Uh, no, they're, those are kind of. Those are kind of. It is funny. But like, like I said, what, 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 what's this one? A Kentucky law pro- prohibits bullfighting. Well, I mean, what kind of bullfighting is? Just this bullfighting. I don't, I mean, the Mexican bullfighting or American bullfighting? It says bullfighting, man. Oh, I, oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I had a kind of kind of idea. The bullfighting, I mean, it used to be, um, you know, the 1800s, 1900s, it used to people used to, like, um, man versus bull, like, something like that. Wait. It's illegal to wash animals on city streets in Knoxville, Tennessee. What, Tennessee or Tennessee? Knoxville, Ten- <laughs> Tennessee. Okay. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, it probably. I mean, in a well, what are we in a city? Is that in a city? Yeah. So I guess you can't wash a dog in city streets. Oh yeah, maybe city street, and you know, maybe you know to wash it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay. It's against the law to feed your hogs or pigs in parentheses on sidewalks in Gainesville, <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> uh, maybe they, I don't know, maybe, oh, I know why. There's a... I'm guessing because uh, like not, to, to, not, they say not allowed to feed the Pig, right? Mm-hmm. Too messy. You know, you know, they're a lot of slop. Too messy. You have to look at that. Too messy. Too messy. Too messy. In um, Maryland, a law states say uh, states that hogs must be allowed to roam loose between March first and October twentieth. <laughs> oh, this is laws. I don't know. And it's illegal for a, call, a cow to cross the road after sundown in Missouri. That makes sense. Too dark. Oh, Lord. Too dark. Yeah, yeah. Too dark. Well, this is the end of our second podcast. Yeah, second podcast. Second podcast. And sorry it wasn't as funny as the first one. Oh, it's funny. Oh, it's funny. Oh, it's funny as first funny. Okay, this is yeah, but this is the end of our second podcast, and hopefully you found this as um wacky as the first one. I, however, didn't find this as funny as the first one, but maybe you did. I don't know, but I did find it kind of wacky. I agree. These were wacky. I mean, how many fogs don't can't eat on the sidewalk? Yeah. Okay, everyone. I will see you next week. Uh, I wish uh, we will see you next time. My name is Anthony. I'm Kathy, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.